I'm pretty stressed about this big diff event. I've lived in Hamilton for a long time, but I've been commuting to Boston. I don't really know if I buy it that Hamilton is an innovative city. I'm gonna go check in with Jim Rednick and see if he can't give me some advice. Hey, Jim. Hi, Dave. How can I help you? I'm really stressed about this big diff event. Is Hamilton really an innovative city? Well, what do you think? I feel like it is right here. That's probably why you're conflicted, Dave. Right here is McMaster Innovation Park. This is ground zero for startups, for businesses, etc. Basically through our innovation factory. They've had more than 400 clients who are here and they're involved in all kinds of channels from life sciences to advanced manufacturing to IT to clean tech. They really are doing a great job of getting those people up and running. And at the same time, it helps them create jobs for people. And jobs are good because if there's jobs here, then that means they don't have to go to Toronto for jobs. And you know what's in Toronto, Dave? Jobs? No, the Argos. We don't want them anywhere near that So here's what you have to do. You have to leave this building. You have to get out in the community. You have to go and talk to everybody around town. You feel it here. That's what Hamilton's all about. I'll do it. So you're telling me, 154 years ago, we built this pump so Hamilton could have clean water. That's right. Hamilton was the fifth city in all of Canada to have running water. And if uh, everyone hadn't pulled together and been innovative, Hamilton wouldn't have become the city that it is today. Wow. So we were the fifth, we were before Waterloo? I, yeah, I believe so. So innovation really is part of our heritage. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying that this place pumps water, why don't you tell people this is the engine for Twitter and this is what pumps all those tweets that come in and... No. Okay. Okay, so we have a rich history of innovation, but how is that Hamilton today? Well, hey guys, what a completely unscripted and random event seeing you here. What's up? We're just drinking a green smoothie. What are you doing? I'm looking for innovation. We're drinking it. What? Well, would this place be here 10 years ago? No. That's right. Somebody decided to innovate, and they felt it right here. And they did it. That's why we need the Innovation Factory. Did you know that over 400 entrepreneurs have been in to meet with the Innovation Factory staff? You see this kid right here? He has a better way to tutor math, so I told him to go to the Innovation Factory. I was gonna come out to one of the Innovation Factory events. Since it started, the Innovation Factory has had over 80 events. Over 7,000 people attended. In industries like digital media and gaming. And information technology. And life and health science. And advanced manufacturing. People are starting to feel it. This is big. Over 400 companies, 80 events, over 7,000 people attended. These people must be all over the city. Thanks, guys. Hey, Ethan, you got a sec? No, can't talk. I gotta go to a restaurant. Putting NFC tags at every table. Tap, and the menu pops up. That is really smart. <laughs> Not just smart, it's innovative. So, you finally getting a Carter? Yeah, I think so. The Innovation Factory is like a greenhouse, and the companies are like saplings. So those 80 events with over 7,000 attendees, and those meetings to 400 different companies, that's like food for those saplings to grow. Can a tree stay in a greenhouse forever? Is it a big tree? Dave, it's a metaphor. Yeah, we need to plant them out here in the real world where they could feed on innovation. And where does innovation come from? It comes from right here. You got it now. 